So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to password protect a folder in Windows 11. Now let's take an example of this folder right here. This is called pack photos folder. And inside the folder, I have a couple of photos. And let's just say I want to password protect this folder so no one can access these photos. Now, the first thing you want to do is obviously open the folder. And then inside that folder, right click and select new, put your mouse over new, and then select text document. And that will create a new text document inside the folder you want to password protect. Now, give this folder a name. I'll just call mine folder lock. But of course, you can name it anything else that you want. Now, if I simply name it folder lock, this is folder lock.txt, which is a default file extension for txt files or text files. We can confirm that by doing a simple right click, checking properties. And as you can see, it's a .txt file, as you can see right here. Now, open this text file by double clicking on it. Now, inside the text file, I want us to write some code, but luckily that code has already been written and all you need to do now is copy and paste. So if you go to this GitHub page, this page, I'll leave a link to this page in the description below, you should find this code right here. So copy the code, select all of it, right click and copy, and then go back to your text file right click and paste the code right there. And that's what the code looks like in your text document. Now, what you need to look for is this section here that says, if not pass uh, with two equal signs, a space, and then your hyphen password, and then another space, go to fail. Now, this section right here, your password, this one. Now, let me just select it properly. This piece of text, that one, your password, that is the password you're going to be using to password protect your folder. Now, you can change that by simply editing that and putting in a password of your own. So let me delete that and put a password that I want. So I'm going to use WebPro as my password. And as you're typing your password, again, make sure you leave a space in there and also make sure you leave another space right here. And then once you put your password, click on file and then click on save as. Make sure you leave it in the same location, which is inside the folder that you want to password protect. But this time you need to change the file extension. So let's change the extension. We're going to retain the same name, but this time we're going to change this to a batch file. A batch file is actually an executable file, which you can double click and it's going to do a few things. So let's call it the same name, but this time let's put .bat, which is the file extension for batch files. And then here under save as type, let's just leave it at all files, folder lock.bat, now click on save. So now you can go ahead and close this. And as you can see, our batch file is here with the commands we wrote. Now at this point, you can delete the text file this is a batch file we made from this text file. We just did a simple save as, and we changed it to a batch file, which is actually executable. So the next thing you want to do is double click on this batch file, and it's going to create a folder called private inside your password protected folder. Now you want to put all the contents of this password protected folder into this private folder. This folder, remember, has been automatically generated when we double clicked on this batch file. So just push everything except the batch file. Just drag everything into the private folder, including the TXT file. Let's just put it in there. So now we just have the private folder and our batch file inside our password protected folder. So the next thing you want to do is double click on the batch file again. And this time it's going to launch the command prompt and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to lock this folder? Now, since we know the password, simply say yes by typing capital Y and then pressing enter and the private folder gets hidden. 
So now when you close this, if anybody comes and tries to open this uh, folder, they're going to only see the batch file. And when they double click on the batch file, they'll require to enter a password for them to be able to access the contents of the folder. So if you have the password, simply type it and then press enter and the private folder will appear and you can now access the contents of that private folder, which were initially the contents of the main folder. Now, every time you exit, remember to lock again. So when you want to exit, simply double click. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to lock. Again, type Y, press enter. It's going to lock and now you can go ahead and close that folder. So that's how to password protect folders in Windows 11 without installing any third party software. Now, is this safe? Um, to a degree. So in case you have just people who are not very tech savvy in your house or in your office, then you can use this method safely. But this is not foolproof because anybody who is tech savvy, anybody who knows the stuff that I know can simply come here and see that this is a batch file. They can try to double click on it and see nothing happens. They don't know the password, but if someone knows about this stuff, they can simply right click and then open the batch file using a text editor. So simply go to something like um, uh, show more options, then go to open with uh, notepad plus plus. It's a good option. And they can see the code of the batch file. And if someone knows how to read code, they can actually go ahead and see that particular password. They can actually see it right there in plain text. So it's not very safe around tech savvy nerds or geeks or people who know their way around a computer. But for normal people who are just computer literate, but not very, very tech savvy or not very nerdy, this is actually safe. Now, let's say you want to remove that password on the folder. What do you do? So to remove that password and that lock, simply double click and then go ahead and enter the password. And then once the file appears, you can go ahead and delete this batch file. And then get inside the private folder, cut everything, go back and then paste everything here. And then you can delete that private folder and also delete the folder lock text file and everything goes back to exactly the way it was. So now if you double click on pack photos, it just opens like it used to before. So that's basically how you can password protect folders in Windows 11. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.